Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. Today we have brought Kesav back due to popular demand. People have been requesting for Kesav to come back. We have uh, invited Kesav back to the show and he's agreed to appear after much uh, requesting and chasing Kesav. He said, okay, because <laughs> you guys are enjoying me so much, I shall grease my fans here. Not only on Money Pechu, on Be Rich too. Sir, not like that, but they are... Uh, thank you for appreciating my English uh, speaking skills. I am trying my level best to speak well. You are also appreciating well. every video. Thanks for that. So, uh, first, hi sir. Hmm. Today we are going to discuss about what is recession. Hmm. What is now, recession? you first tell me what do you understand about... First of all, why do you want to talk about recession? Sir, uh, when I see comment section, the sim the thing which most of the people ask is, Russian is going to come, what are all we want to do? Hmm. Russian is going to come, Russian is going to come, when is Russian going to come? Russian, Russian, Russian. Hmm. So, I want to ask, what is Russian first? Hmm. When will it come? Hmm. I thought you did a video with Anand on this, the yes, money page. So, yes. what did you understand? Sir, uh, Russian is something, uh, if we have negative on two quarters. Negative what? Uh, what do we measure? Growth. A GDP, sir. Mm, growth. Uh -huh. We are measuring growth. Yeah, the economy is growth. Yeah, sir. Mm. So, if you have negative, negative growth, growth on two, two quarters. Mm, what, two quarters. Uh, yeah, sir. What is a quarter? Quarter means three months. Mm, very good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank God. I thought you were going to say this is <laughs> sir. Three months. Uh, if you have uh, negative on two quarters, very good. Then recession will appear. Very good. Sir. That's all for a layman. This is good enough. Thank so, you have two negative quarters, you are in recession. So, what does recession mean? No, I'm just saying the same video we would have spoken. Yes. So, Anand told you because the recession is happening, you would have said what is the roll on effect. So, what happens? Sir, uh, if recession comes. Um, In broadly, what you remember? I'm not asking exact details. Sir, uh, I what Fed does and what stock market does, <laughs> what is the money uh, doing? And no, I'm not asking to get in. What you under, broadly understood, man. So most of us, uh, most layoffs will, uh, will happen. More layoffs will happen. Yeah, sir. More people lose their job. Yeah, sir. American and European companies who invested startups in our country hmm. will take back to their uh, country. Okay. But, so, but logically speaking, hmm. right, when you have negative growth hmm. happening, what usually should the government do then? If a lot of people you are working for an office, hmm. right, and there is no sales happening, what will you do? I will search a way to improve my sales. So, how will you improve sales? You have to? Uh, invest money. Yes, yeah, spend money. Yeah, sir. To stimulate your sales. Ah. By doing advertisement, by hiring maybe more people, promotions, and maybe all. giving some incentives, mm. whatever it is, yeah, Inc sir. buy better products to sell, mm. maybe open a new shop, whatever. You will think of ideas of spending yeah, money. You have to end of the day spend mm. money. So, if, if the US economy is going through a recession, don't you think they should be spending money? The government to make, government is the one which will make the economy, uh, stimulate the economy, yeah, right? Sir. So, why shouldn't, why isn't the US government spending money? Did you ask Anand that? No, sir. Why? Sir, because uh, on that day, I am like uh, um, gathering up all the new things in my mind. My mm -hmm. mind said uh, storage is uh, full. So, let's so ask you will ask Anand this next time. Okay, sir. Definitely. Okay. I will also give you s some ideas. Okay. You put it together. Okay. And I am sure our viewers will also listen to our conversation. They will also have some comments. Okay. On the conversation. Mm. Here. Because what conversation we have on you, me and you have us at base level. <laughs> It is not at level of honor. Mm -hmm. We are at base level. Okay. So, the main problem which has been happening in the world, according to Anand, what I have understood is, we had a major financial crisis, money crisis in 2008. Okay. When the world economy as a whole, from US knock-on effect, it rolled over across the globe and world economy dipped. So, when it dipped, the American government and all the governments across the world, one by one, slowly, all of them started giving free money. Okay. There are different ways of giving money. Mm. Each government, each way had different schemes of giving free money. Mm. It will be interest-free loan, giving some cash incentive, like that. Different ways they plugged, gave more money into the market. Okay. All that extra money was coming into the market. And this was from 2008. Okay. Till before the pandemic, they were doing this. Mm. Lots and lots of money was coming. Okay. Right? Even if business is good or bad, they are giving lots of money. Mm, okay. Then the pandemic came. Okay. Pandemic came, even more tough times. Mm. So, what do governments do in more tough times? They give more money. Yes. Because people can't afford food, there are no jobs. Mm. So, for that welfare, they gave more money. More money was coming into the system. So, when a lot of money is coming in, 
what happens to the price of everything if you can afford this camera which we have right for 1000 rupees you can pay i can pay he can also pay but there's only one camera then what will happen the rate will go high yeah so the manufacturer will say okay i'll make it 1500 rupees and you say i also have 1500 i say i have 1500 he says he does have 2000 2000 2500 ah so this is slowly happening this mm. is called inflation inflation ah for the layman for mm. your level and my level that is well inflation mm. so this is going up that means prices are going up okay which is a big problem for the economy mm. why if prices are going up is a problem for the economy sir if prices go up no one uh, spend money sir yes that means your wages also your salary also has to pay keep pace with the inflation does it keep pace do you does your salary keep pace with the petrol price keep pace with the petrol price. meaning petrol price is going up okay sir no no, no 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 does your salary also it goes no. up by 2% 3% no, every no, no. month no. every quarter no. is your salary also going up no no doesn't happen yeah, yes sir so what does that lead to it leads to problem so, for whom us who's us the population ah uh, population the people, the people. Uh. the people in prices start going up crazy mm. housing becomes expensive renting becomes expensive transportation becomes expensive food becomes expensive so to combat that and all this free money is going the government now is trying to take a u turn all okay. the governments mm. they are trying to remove all that free money which is going on for last 10 years okay. they are trying to clean it up they are trying to remove that free money mm. so they are doing the opposite they are trying to squeeze money out of the market, market. Okay. so when that is happening the knock on effect will be what suddenly in the office there's not enough budget you're running a business you decide to do cutting of salaries cutting of free stuff in the office what will happen morale in the office will go if people start salary starts getting cut right okay and all the freebies which you are having free for food khana pina and everything is being given suddenly the boss you as a boss say too much spending i'm doing i'm going to stop all this no more ac everyone use fan no more free food in office all of you bring food from your house no more free incentives what will happen everybody will quit their, quit their job and search for a new job yes that will happen for you ah uh. in country levels this will suddenly money disappearing there layoffs happen because companies don't have free cash hmm. right okay the market is contracting hmm. people are loans are becoming more expensive hmm. right so free money is not available anymore so less money now suddenly this camera which is going at 2000 rupees now you are saying about i don't have money i am saying i don't have money so the price starts slowly oh, coming increasing. down oh. this process of coming down inflation cooling off is taking some time okay so when that thing is taking some time this layoff and all this happens and the recession is happening okay in broad context this is what's happening this is what's the risk, cause of the recession okay all this free money which is there they're removing it so in the process of removing interest rates are going up money is becoming more expensive mm. the roll on effect is businesses start shrinking mm. they everyone's doing cost cutting right mm. so when cost cutting happens people lose jobs mm. first things to go is advertising mm. you saw that answer or told you this many people facebook is not generating enough money because a lot of online online advertising has stopped mm. for google online advertising mm. has stopped a lot of people are cutting costs as a manufacturer if you don't where do you first save money is advertising mm. the easiest place to save money stop advertising mm. after that you still need to cut some more money close some offices close. down <laughs> oh. right okay close all your offices some offices down mm. still need to cut money send some more people mm. right finally what will happen that the big top wigs also will take salary cuts that's all happening okay right this no. is happening in the us and this is happening across europe and indian startups are also feeling the pinch hmm. my question is all this is great recession and am recession i bring you read all this come how is it affecting you how recession affects me hmm. you your friends so, um, if i because it's like me saying ah uh, there is a hurricane in coming to australia okay there is snowing in california there is a heat wave in europe you will like, okay so when answer saying recession is coming recession is coming uh, you seem to be thinking okay <laughs> yeah sir it's coming but i am getting not... up every day uh, i have food to eat yeah i have petrol to put so what sir but uh, if any of my friends works in it no sir mm. if they lose job mm. sir i will say one on small story sir hmm. not a sir. story like example example thing ah uh-huh. uh, example thing is uh, 
uh, if there is a IT company, hmm. out of the IT company, there is a tea shop. <coughs> out of the IT company. Ah, outside, outside, ah, outside of the IT right. company, there is a tea shop. Hmm. The mindset of the tea shop owner is, uh, there is a IT company. If, uh, if there is a break, they will come here and uh, have tea or smoke some cigarettes and go. So, he can have a large amount of money, sir. Okay. If layoffs are happen, hmm. they will not come there hmm. because no one is there in the office. Hmm. So, he also, uh, what to say? <laughs> what to say? Hmm. What happens? He also have a no If you have a tea shop there, ah. if case of case of tea stall ah. there, and nobody comes to your tea stall, what happens to you? It's a loss for me. I have to pay for my, uh, what to say, sir? Upper centies? A present piece or a your tea workers, workers, uh, my man. labors. Yeah, ah. your laborers, ah. your tea master, yeah. your tea boy. Yeah. You have to pay them, so, so you they will them off. Ah. Then what about the people you are buying material from? Will you be buying material? No, sir. Will you buy extra samosas? Because no, you are buying samosa packet and keeping. Ah. Some guy in Crompet is making packet and is giving ah. it to you. You will buy less samosas. So there will be a loss for them also. Roll on effect. Ah. Yeah, sir. What you saying is absolutely true. Ah. This is called recession, sir. This is uh, effect of uh, uh, roll-on effect. You're right. Uh, the roll-on effect. Yes, sir. So, the way a recession affects is, mm. it may not affect you straight off. Mm. But the effect of recession is a roll-on effect happening in India. So, when like huge IT companies like Cognizant, okay. TCS, mm. shut down, close an office, mm. all the industry is leaning on that. That means uh, guys who are renting it, the, like you said, the tea shops, mm. the food, FN, food and beverages, mm. everything which is built around that all evaporates. Okay. All those guys lose their jobs. Mm. And when all those guys lose their job, they in turn will be employing other people. They lose their jobs. Yes, sir. There will be an uh, economy struck. Correct. Oh. That is a problem. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, my next doubt is, uh, uh, the, if we want to know the Russian is coming or not, we have to have a positive GDP, a negative GDP. In two quarters, if the GDP is negative, the if you want to have, ah, uh, if Russian, what would you want to have? No, sir, no, sir. Mm. If Russian comes, there is, uh, we have to think there is a negative in two quarters of uh, mm. the GDP. So in India, mm. why GDP is not measured properly, sir? You tell me, ma'am. Sir, I, do you uh, pay tax? I don't pay tax, mm. sir. Do all your friends pay tax? No. Mm. So how do you measure GDP? Sir, but in uh, America. It's, what is the difference? So Anand, explain this to you. Yeah, sir. Uh, he said, uh, if we want to measure uh, GDP in India, there is uh, so-called 2000 companies. They will uh, calculate that and have it as a GDP of India. But uh, they, in America, they ca uh, in every okay. companies, they will... What you're trying to say is, uh. in India, there is no transparency. Hmm. Our economic uh, framework, the way it's set up, most of it is is... Informal, informal sector is very large in mm. India. Majority of Indians don't pay tax. So, we do not know what the true economic situation in the country is. So, it's very hard for us to measure the GDP. GDP. Okay. So, what we actually have is just an eye wash. Okay. What is being said GDP of India. Mm. But on your level, mm. we don't know. Because most Indians don't pay tax. True. Mm. Those who are only working in corporate jobs, they pay tax. Most people don't pay tax. Yes, sir. In corporate, because they have to do that. It's a law. Yep. They, it's not that they ask your friend who works in an IT company, they don't ask him, do you want to pay tax? Mm. It's already removed from his salary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They have to do it. They don't even ask. It's taken away. That's why it is going properly. <laughs> if it's not, uh, even there, no yes, one, correct. No one pays. If you're not directing the tax at the source, nobody will be paying. Even those guys will not pay. Who will pay? Nobody will pay, sir. And why most people don't pay tax in India is because they don't believe in the government. Mm hmm. True. There is a basic, it is not blaming current government or past government and all this. It is just that the way the setup is, mm. it needs to improve. Okay. Uh, hopefully, your generation will get down to fixing it. Mm. People pay tax, like in Western Europe, like in Scandinavia, all the citizens pay tax. They don't mind paying tax because they see their government doing stuff for them. Okay. Better roads, better school, free school, free college, free medical. Mm -hmm. So, they don't mind paying because mm. they are getting benefits. In India, you don't. The citizen is not seeing it coming back to him. True, sir. So, why would you give your money then? I am telling you, case of 20%, 25% of your salary you keep giving. After 6 months, you say, what am I getting? True. I am not trying to politicize it. Mm -hmm. The government should do this, government should do this, government should not do this, they are spending here, they are wasting. Mm. 
are still relevant. Majority of Indians since independence till now don't feel like paying the government money because they don't feel the government is doing it. Doing it. Uh -huh. So till that feeling changes, okay, it's very difficult to make people voluntarily go pay the government. True, sir. Now I understood something, sir. But my final question, sir. This is irrelevant to what uh, what the topic we are discussing now. Hmm. But it's a small doubt. Already asked asked you. Hmm. You answered me, but I have to ask in front of the camera what it is. Uh, if there is a short shortage of crude oil, if uh, Saudi is the uh, one who is exporting crude oil, the most, at the most, uh, they are the biggest exporters. Ah, uh, biggest exporters. So already Russia Ukraine war happened, crude oil price got so high and it dropped down. But uh, if Saudi Arabia started uh, war on anything or some of the crisis happen, uh, if they do not export any crude oil, what is the alternative way for that? Crude oil comes only, we get the petrol. That, that is if all the crude companies, is, uh, oh, countries, sorry, come exporting crude oil, decide not to give crude oil. That's it. There is no petrol. We have to go for the old age cycle. You will have to walk, crawl, okay. cycle. But that won't happen. Okay. Because ah. all the countries together have to agree to doing it. Okay. When was the last time you, your brother and your sister agreed to doing anything together? Ah, see, you blinked. Yes. You actually had to think. <laughs> yes, sir. Correct. <laughs> so, you are asking mm. all the countries around the world. Saudi mm. Arabia is the biggest. Mm. Aside from Saudi Arabia, lots of countries making. Mm. Okay, oil. You are asking all of them mm. to say, we will cut. That's what OPEC is. We know what OPEC is. No, sir, not like that. I am saying, uh, it's a rumor or not, I don't know. But it's a rumor. there is a rumor called... World War 3 is going to happen. It has been happening for a long time. And as soon as World War 1 was over, ah. they said 2 will happen. Then 2 happened. Then as soon as 2 was over, they said 3 will happen. But fortunately, luckily, lucky for you and me, 3 has not happened so far. Yeah, sir. It will happen. Maybe because human beings like having wars. Yes, sir. If, it, happen. if it happened, there is no export and import will be on our country, no? But during yeah. even World War 2, exports and imports were happening. Do you know that? No, sir. <laughs> I don't know. I thought what every happens during World War. Sir, uh, I thought every country thinks on their own. No, no. I want to save my country. So I will I will what to say. Everybody also wants to make money, man. What is the best business? What is the best business? Business is the best business. No, what no, is no. The what is the best business? And I think we'll do a separate video on that as a follow up, explaining why war is the best business and why most countries like doing war. Countries like Pakistan, US. Okay. China even, hmm. are all built on their armies, spending on defense. How defense industry is the biggest economy of the world. The global economy is run by defense, spending no. on war. Why they have to spend on war, sir? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, why they have to spend on war? Yeah, if you and your neighbors are peaceful, we don't need to spend money on army, no? True, sir. But see, the, what all having an army does, we'll discuss that in another video. Okay, sir. Why I'm saying war is very good business. That's that's why a lot of countries like being in war. Like being in war. Yes, Pakistan, India, have been in proxy war since independence. Because of Pakistan being a threat, we keep spending money on our army. Pakistan spends money on its army. Why? If there is, if there one day a war will come, Might so we have to make prepare. Yeah, we have to be prepared. So for you that. don't want peace, no? You're always at war. North Korea, you see. South Korea, you ah, see. North Korea, so much worse. So, but we'll do an in-depth video on it. I'll okay. tell you the history behind it, okay, how it's been, okay. and why we continue to do it. The okay. problem with mindset that is, that's all. Okay, sir. Okay. But what I are the questions here? What is what the question here? Sir, uh, I am just got struck uh, when you say uh, people like being in war. War why is profitable. I didn't say people like being in war. I said war is good business. Why is war a good business? That is the question running in my mind, sir. Why they have to... You go see about US economy, man. Okay. One of US's biggest part of their economy is their military expense and how much they export. Okay. When they're saying they're giving Ukraine aid, weapon aid, who's paying for it? Don't have to answer me now. Hmm. Go read about it. Do some research. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. When uh, India is buying fighter jets, hmm. who's paying for it? India has to pay for it. But who in India is paying for it? Russia. Why, Why would Russia pay for India's warplanes, man? Hello, sir. Uh, 
Russia, uh, India pays saying, to Russia this for... This is new information for you. Yeah, sir, true. So, don't... I have told you this already. When you say, don't know something, say, I... Hey, don't know. Don't know. <laughs> and then go, learn about it. Then come back. Okay, sir. Then we will talk about it. Okay, sir. Don't try to shoot <laughs> your okay. mouth off when you don't have a clue okay. what we are talking about. Okay, sir. That's why I, I, I try and explain it to you so that it's simple. Mm. I make a lot of mistakes in my explaining because I'm sure a lot of people who have far more better innovances, they'll be like, no, what Vinod is actually saying is wrong. Mm. But I don't want to get into that level of discussion because I just want you to understand the basics. Okay. Even recession and GDP, I just want you to get a broad understanding of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I don't want you to dive into it too deeply. Then you'll get so confused. You'll come out saying, sir, we spoke for half an hour. I don't understand anything. <laughs> So, I wanted to have some basic points. Now, mm -hmm. this war thing also, why war is good business, I'll explain to you in another video. Okay. If I get into that now, you would have forgotten what all we spoke about recession. Yeah, sir, true. But don't worry about oil. Mm. What you're saying is, what will happen if oil supply around the world comes to a stop? Yeah, sir. Full stop. True. If the power goes off and nobody is making electricity, what will you do? You have to go for the old no light lamps. You will have to do something. Hurricane huh. lamp. Huh. You light fire. You do. You've seen so many movies like that. Yeah, right? sir. End of the world movies. Nah. That's all. We'll have to figure what to do. But we'll always figure out something. Mm -hmm. But right now, that is not a possibility of ever happening. Mm -hmm. Because everybody who's making oil wants to make money, including Mukesh Ambani. Okay. You know what Reliance is doing, right? Petrochemicals. Ah, petrochemi ah, ah, petrochemicals yes. is what? Crude oil. Crude. It's out ah. of crude oil. Ah. Making chemicals out of crude, crude oil. oil. Including petrol, everything he's doing. He's exporting everything. He's mm -hmm. not selling it in India. But it's all crude oil. Mm -hmm. So, everybody is making money off crude oil. So, it's not going to stop anytime soon. Even if a world war breaks out, it will not stop. Okay. If you are, as long as you are willing to pay money, there will always be someone ready to supply. Okay. You have seen this in the market. Even in the lockdown period, you will see. Price gouging, it's called. When lockdown happened, you, some guy will come and say, black, I'm selling you black ticket. Like uh -huh. You will uh -huh. say, okay, this lockdown is going on, but if you pay me 100 rupees, I will give you two cans of water. Uh, true, sir, true. Same thing. Okay. You will get petrol. Instead of paying 100 rupees, you'll be paying 1000 rupees. Mm -hmm. Understood, sir. Mm -hmm. But it'll reach a tipping point. Tipping point means enough people around the world will get fed up of the situation, then the situation will change again. Okay. Things never stay the same. Things mm -hmm. always keep on changing. Changing. Like how your mood is. Mm -hmm. You're happy now. 10 minutes later, you would have read some mes WhatsApp message from your girlfriend and you feel very bad. Sir. You feel very angry Not and bad. sad. <laughs> then after this little while, she'll send another message and you feel better. <laughs> Then you forgive, forget. You like, ah, that's all in the past, sir. It's all okay. Human beings are like that. So, these things are transitory. What you're seeing, and don't worry about World War Three and all that. Hmm. Like, how you don't worry about recession? Don't worry about this. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, on your level, hmm. the war in Ukraine is not affecting you. At your personal level. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is it? My personal. Is it personally affecting you? No, sir. Isn't is some Kashmiri war happening? Is it affecting you personally? No. no. That's it. So, don't worry. Okay. Don't lose your mind over it. Okay. But it is something to think about. Definitely do that, sir. Okay. Mm. But this war video will definitely do. Okay, sir. We'll discuss. But have you decided which company we're going to do the balance sheet on? Can we sound, uh, uh, announce the company name? So, I can Next go. video, the company name will be announced because uh, I'm so sorry <laughs> to say that. Because uh, you so have... Guys, it's not my fault. Yeah, yeah, Please don't get angry with me. Yeah, yeah it's my <laughs> fault. I'm waiting for Kesar yeah. to choose a company he wants to discuss. Yeah, it's so, it's so difficult because you all are suggesting uh, US companies. I don't even know the name of the company, some name, some no, major name of the company. So, I have to select uh, which company to takes time. Next week, uh, next week, next week, the balance sheet will be revealed. Okay. Not balance sheet, annual report. Annual report. Balance yeah. sheet is part of the annual report. Yeah. We'll be talking about not only the balance sheet. Annual report. The annual whole report. annual report yes. of the company. You were saying about the... Yes, sir. Next week, the... Annual report. Annual report will be revealed. Uh, thank you for watching, Beerich. If you like the video, hit the like button. Um, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. You have to subscribe. Uh, please don't forget to press the bell bell button. If you didn't press the bell button, you will not get notified whenever a video is posted. Thank you for watching, Be Rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us 
and are ready if you want to procure a copy send us a message to the whatsapp number given below and my team would respond to you if you want an amazon kindle copy you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish@gmail.com once again i thank you for your support If you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification